Cooler Master is known for particularly well put together cases and they usually try to do so, balancing aesthetics, premium ship innovation and budget all together. And with Thermaltech and Corsair bring up the ante with the latest release of more, let's face it, premium and budget friendly chassis. Yes. Cooler Master is a bit threatened and needs uh, to reaffirm itself on that market segment. And it hopes doing so with cases such as the MC600P, which is sold at about $130 before taxes and aims at pleasing the widest spectrum possible of builders out there. And yes, even the most demanding ones. When looking at the MC600P, the very first thing which might strike you is this very um, discreet yet attractive monolithic look of it. No obvious RGB strips or RGB fans on our MC600P. Instead, we have a rather, again, discreet RGB uh, strip hidden right below the front fender and it is compatible to the main board manufacturers out there, either Aura, Mystic, what have you. And this is particularly important to the enthusiast people out there which uh, will be able to sing all the different lights and RGB effects through their build. On its left side, it comes with a thick 40% darkened tempered glass. As in everything on this case, it locks and unlocks with ease. A simple counterclock 90 degrees rotation and voila. So usually in tempered glasses cases, uh, once you remove the holding screws, if you're not careful enough, they're quite heavy and they usually tend to fall right on the table or even worse on the floor, uh, sometimes chipping the edges, but not here. The tempered glass has a clever metallic base which pivots onto the case frame, ensuring supports up to 30 degrees of rotation, so no more falling and kudos to Cooler Master for this. All right, so moving to the surrounding panels, they are almost all secured by magnets. It's a straightforward, no screw, no force, no friction approach, which makes it almost too easy to remove and place back any of them. But here is where you see Cooler Master know-how and ingenuity. The magnets are premounted on coils, allowing them to pop up about one centimeter high, and that will uh, give us more airflow come in and exhaust out of our case. I've been working with a lot of cases and some of which were air choked and uh, there's nothing more annoying to see your components overheating because a panel don't let enough air come in. And, and what you end up doing is removing those panels to let enough cool air in there. And that doesn't look great and kind of defeats the purpose of an enthusiastic build. So again, kudos to Cooler Master for this move. Looking at our back bracket, it's really here only to dissimulate the joints and screws which secure our casing together. Removing it will allow us in turn to remove the case back panel and let us in yet another cooler master nouveauté, the cable backplate, which basically is here only to cater to lazy builders such as yours truly and uh, allow us to move a little bit faster in the build and just hide the mess of our bad cable management habits with this big nice plate. Let's not forget to mention the fact that we have nice little Cooler Master Velcros which will try to keep all our busy cables in order. Always a good idea. Moving to the very top of our case, our front panel commands, buttons and plugs are hidden right under a magnetized door. So overall, uh, Cooler Master is trying to soothe our sense of harmony and comfort and that actually works. But there's more to it. There's more to the MC600P and right now we're going to the obvious part of the case. The MC600P weighs about 13.1 kilogram empty, 54.8 centimeter high, 23.5 centimeter wide and 51.2 centimeter long. It is an almost fully modular case, meaning that everything on it can be removed and readjusted apart from the motherboard tray itself. Chassis wise, we're dealing with an extremely good quality and thick galvanized metal. It doesn't wiggle, no sharp edges, it is simply robust and durable. It will support about any motherboard you throw at it, mini ATX, micro ATX, ATX and even the mighty E. ATX and it will do so comfortably, always leaving the cable windows unobstructed. So kudos to 
Cooler Master for this. Storage wise and natively you can install up to 6 3.5 inches mechanical hard drive onto the chassis and two SSDs on its first level floor. But you can go ahead and order more hard disk trays uh, and have up to an outstanding 10 mechanical drives. There is such a thing as too many drives. We have seven back IO shield, which of course will be enough for comfortable dual GPU configuration, uh, plus Thunderbolt or even an additional PCIe M.2 solid state drive export. Since we are at it, we have a PSU bracket, which you can pre-mount on your power supply unit and which will allow an easy slide in and slide out for your PSU. Right underneath it, we have our PSU filter, which is in turn is also easy to access for a bit of maintenance cleaning. And talking of filters, let us not forget our front panel filter, which is hidden right behind our imposing, well, front panel. Fan-wise, the case comes with two out of three 140mm fans on its front and one 140mm fan on the exhaust vent. So lots of air coming right out of the box, but note that of course you can remove those fans and put, you know, three 120s or RGB fans or what have you. Water cooling wise, the MC600P can support up to three individual radiators, one on the very top of our case up to 280 mm long, one in the front up to 360 mm long, and finally one in the exhaust vent up to 140 mm long. We can also install any size of reservoir you'll fancy, all the way up to 250 mm if necessary. So an absolute beast when it comes to enthusiastic and custom water cooling systems. And in conclusion, you know, Cooler Master with the MC600P went for simplicity. You can definitely feel that there is real engineering behind it, um, real worry for innovation, and a simple and calm sense of luxury to the overall building experience, if that makes any sense at all. The magnetized panel, the airflow adjustments, the metal cable uh, cover show that they push forward on research and try to, you know, break down boundaries because when it comes to cases, I mean, there's so much innovation you can do around a chassis, but that didn't stop them. And, and, you know, Thermaltech did some real breakthrough lately, as well as did Corsair. And I think that they tried to take away things from Cooler Master, but Cooler Master didn't have it at all. They went all in and the MC600P uh, pays off. It actually really works out. I've been building in and out of this case at least three times for this review, and it was an absolute breeze. Nay, it was an absolute breeze. Pleasure. The MC600P is a mid-tower and a rather large one. It will take in 95% of any kind of builds, going from first-time builder to eccentric builders, and comfortably so. If you are going for a two-loop uh, custom water cooling system, you might want to upgrade to a full tower case because that's not going to be very uh, practical in a mid-tower. But other than this. You have a lot of freedom, a lot of comfort, and a lot of space to do with. Aesthetical wise, I really enjoy the monolithic uh, look of it. It's kind of calming, soothing to me. And the fact that I don't have a bunch of RGB fan crazes blowing into my face, I kind of like it. I, there is an aura strip, which is discreetly placed right under there, right under our front panel, but that's all I needed. I just needed a nice little strip right here to recall uh, the overall color theme of my build and nothing more. And on top of it, the tempered glass gives this very nice mineral feel to it. So as far as I'm concerned, it's absolute balanced perfection. And it will run you about $130 before taxes. And that's a very nice price point because it gives you plenty of room in your budget to focus on the components will go in there. And it doesn't look, feel, or build cheap. You'll have a great experience building in there and it looks absolutely amazing. I, I, I absolutely genuinely like it. Oh, I know I have to uh, talk about a few critics, but I didn't have many. 
I will mention that there is no type C front panel and I regret that because it's about time that all the manufacturers start to feature this more often. I mean, all the motherboard manufacturers uh, have a front panel or almost all of them, uh, front panel type C connectors on the motherboard. So it makes sense uh, uh, to have them on the cases as well. So maybe something uh, that we should see on the next iteration of that uh, case. And finally, one of the greatest moves on this case is the fact that we have magnetized uh, pressure points, which keeps the panels together, but I don't know how long they're gonna stay magnetized. So that's an open question, but none of those are deal breakers. If you are on the market for a budget, premium, good looking build, this is exactly where your money wants to be. And that is why I am going to use this very case for my next uh, computer build series, which I have not done for a while. So stay tuned for that.